Retailing at £299, the Oculus Quest 2 is a standalone virtual reality headset that allows you to play VR games natively within the headset itself without the use of a PC. However, you can connect it to a computer to play PC VR games that run directly from a PC, wirelessly, or by using a cable. The Oculus Quest 2 comes with a 64GB storage space. You can also buy a 256GB version for £399. As mentioned on the box, you'll need an active Facebook account to start using this device. Inside the box, you'll get the Oculus Quest 2 headset, which is compact and relatively light when placed on your head. Two controllers with changeable AA batteries pre-installed, one USB-C to USB-C cable and adapter, and a glasses spacer, which can be mounted to the headset and allows for extra space when using your headset for those who wear glasses. To start using your Oculus Quest 2, connect your USB-C cable to the adapter and plug the other end of the USB-C cable into your headset. You'll know that your headset is fully charged when the light on the side of your Quest turns green. Once done, use the power button on the side of your Quest to turn it on. You may be prompted to run an update that will pair within the headset. Approve this if it doesn't start automatically and it's recommended that you keep your headset connected to a power source until completed. Whilst your Quest is updating, Download the free Oculus Quest app, which you can download from the Apple or Play Store. Ensure that your device is connected to Wi-Fi and has Bluetooth enabled. The app is used to register your device, and you also need it to continue with this setup. You can also get notifications on sales and up-and-coming releases. Customize your device settings and cast your VR experience to your phone or any Chromecast-enabled device. When you open the Oculus Mobile app, you'll be prompted to log into Facebook or to create an account. If you do log in using Facebook, make sure you also have access to the email account you use to make this, as you will need this later on. At this point, it's worth noting down your Wi-Fi password and keep it to hand as you will need this to connect your Wi-Fi to your headset when you turn it back on. Once the initial update has completed, turn on your headset and place it on your head. You can use the ring pulls on the back of the strap connected to the headset and adjust the Velcro strap at the top until it fits your head comfortably. If your view inside your headset is not in focus, you can further move the headset on your head until the focus is corrected. If all is not in focus, you may need to adjust the lenses on the inside of the headset manually. There are three settings that you can adjust by pushing or pulling the lenses from left to right. Next, enter your Wi-Fi password. You'll then be introduced to a safety guide and it will show you how to set up your guardian boundary area. Once connected, you might be prompted to approve an update which takes about five to 10 minutes depending on your internet speed. Once completed, you'll have to pair your headset with the Oculus mobile app that you set up earlier. Reopen the app which should recognize your headset and be paired. If not, place your headset back onto your head and you should see a page displaying a code that you can use to pair your device on the Oculus app. Once that's done, you'll be asked to set up your play space. The first thing you'll have to do is set your floor level. Next, using your controllers, draw the boundary of your play space. You can do this by pressing the trigger button on your controller and drawing on the ground. Your area should be clear of any obstacles that you might trip over or hit when using your controllers. Just follow the guide you saw earlier during the setup process. From here, you'll be taken to the home environment where you can browse and buy games. You'll need to get used to using your controllers, so I recommend downloading first steps. Try moving the thumbsticks around. It will take you through a number of activities that will help you to operate and get up to speed using your controllers. Go ahead, play with some of these items. Once you're happy, you'll be ready to start buying and playing games. You can also use the Oculus Quest to play PC VR games using the Oculus Link cable, which you can buy from the Oculus Store at £89. But there are third-party cables that you can use. The one I use is linked in the description below. 
Now this will take you to Amazon, which is an affiliate link, and this will help the channel to make a small commission when used. However, using the link does not affect the price you pay at the checkout. You can also link your Oculus Quest 2 to your PC wirelessly using the virtual desktop app. I have a full guide on setting up the Oculus Quest as a PC VR headset if you wish to run games from your PC and play wirelessly. There's a benefit to doing this such as being able to record your gameplay in mixed reality. However, you can also record your gameplay inside the headset. If you want to learn more about this, just go through the videos on my channel and find a tutorial on PC VR and virtual desktop. Here's an example of me recording in mixed reality using Beat Saber. Overall, the Oculus Quest 2 is a great device at £299 for anyone who wants to have an experience of VR gaming. It's easy to set up and use, and there really are a lot of great games. If you have any questions about my PC VR setup, just leave a comment below. Subscribing to the channel will give you access to my own custom songs for Beat Saber and O Shape, which you can download from my website. The links are in the description. And if you want to stay up to date and see more gaming and setup tutorials with the Oculus Quest 2, subscribe to this channel. We are VR Finesse and have fun with your Oculus Quest 2.